What's up guys, I'm that radio geek, but of course you knew that because I clicked on my name. I wasn't gonna do this video. I really didn't want to, and you'll find out why in a bit. This is my last retro game treasure box. I've canceled my subscription. I just don't think the cost is worth it, especially with the problems I've been having with them. Now, I know what's in this box. I've already opened this box, so it's not gonna be a proper unboxing per se, but I'm still gonna show you what's in there. I'm gonna show you the best first. P2, the arcade game. I certainly remember playing this as a kid, although I cannot for the life of me remember if I enjoyed it, even if the movie it's based on is objectively the best in the series and arguably the last one that's worth watching. And I say this as someone who will flock to the next Terminator movie as soon as it's out, hoping I like it because that's the kind of idiot I am. So let's see if this is as good as I remember. Cyberdyne Systems 800 Series Model 101. System activated. 10 years ago, the machines of Skynet sent a Terminator from the future to kill Sarah Connor. They failed. Now, the machines will try again. Their new target, the future leader of the Resistance, Sarah Connor's young son, John Connor. As before, a lone warrior will be sent to protect him. The only question is, who will reach John first? So this is actually not the game I was thinking of. I remember playing a very different console version of Terminator 2 back in the day. But I have played the actual arcade cabinet of this. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. It's a light gun shooter. And that was really cool back then. I don't have a light gun, and even if I did, I don't have a CRT to be able to use it properly. But fortunately, moving the crosshair around with the D-pad is easier than you'd think it'd be. The whole game is pretty much this. Just shooting a whole lot of Terminators, shooting down the projectiles before they can hit you. Uh, in various stages. You have to avoid hitting the civilians, and then you just go back to shooting more Terminators. It's not too long before we reach our first boss, where you just have to shoot various parts of it in a specific order to take the whole thing down. But it's, it's at this point you realize that the whole thing is really meant to be played with co-op. This would be a lot easier with two people. You know, one person shoots down the projectiles while the other one focuses on shooting whatever part needs to be shot. Second stage is a lot more of the same, but the Terminators have skin now. And then there's whatever these things are. I'm not sure what they are, but if you shoot them enough, they go back and eventually they'll explode. And this one doesn't even have a boss, it just ends. Back to the present or future, I'm not sure how time travel works in this. More of the same. Except now you've got to protect these guys in this truck. And this is about where I end. Again, this would be a lot easier with more than one person. But here we are. Machines have succeeded. John Connor has perished. The resistance is defeated. Try again. Now that's fine. I for one welcome our new robot overlords. Like I said, this is not the game I was thinking of, but still, it's pretty decent. I do like it, and I'll probably put a bunch of time into it, especially since I don't have to keep pumping in quarters. Man, am I glad we got away from that practice. Next up, Jurassic Park. I vaguely remember playing this one as a kid, although, again, I don't remember anything about it. Uh, the movie was dope. So let's check it out. Jurassic 
The T-Rex has demolished your car. The electric fences are down and all the dinosaurs are loose on the island. Make your way through the jungle to the power station. So right off the bat, movement feels pretty bad. Platforming pr feels pretty bad. Attacking feels sort of kind of okay. If I had just killed this thing, why is it back again? I've never really been a big fan of respawning enemies that respawn for the sake of respawning. And it probably would have taken less space on the cartridge to just leave them gone. After some more annoying movement and platforming, progress through this jungle a little bit more and fall from this branch that had no indication it was going to fall and didn't even give me time to react. That's amazing. So I make it back to that point. So I make it back to that point and try to land a little bit differently this time now that I know it's there. Feels like one of those things where if you don't know that's coming, you're just guaranteed to die. Go out through a little bit more bad platforming and get struck with a random rock. Yeah, fuck this. Let's see if the raptor's any better. You have broken out of the raptor cage, and you are free to roam the island. You really aren't. And you have picked up the scent of Dr. Grant. As you stalk him through the jungle, beware of armed guards. This feels a little better. Movement still sucks, but jumping is better, and platforming is a little bit better. And it's not too long before I finish the first level here. You sense Grant is near. Make your way through the power station, but beware of electricity. I do appreciate the inclusion of floor chicken here, but it did take me an embarrassingly long time to realize that I could hold up on the D-pad and jump to do a high jump, which I suppose makes things easier. There's not really much else to this level, just continue platforming through the power station, taking out a bunch of dudes, but this guy does get me with what I imagine to be a stun gun of some sort. This is a very simplistic concept that really should work, but it just doesn't feel like a whole lot of care was put into it. The whole thing is just very slow and clunky onto the third level. Raptors cannot swim. Avoid the water that floods the abandoned pump station as you pursue Grant. And this is about where I end because you're in these very small pipes that don't give you a lot of room to jump. And as a raptor, that's your strength. So I die pretty much right away. But then I die pretty much right away again and there's my game over. And finally, we come to the reason I didn't want to do this video. This piece of shit right here. Dangerous Hunt 2. If Retro Game Treasure had my preferences, why would they send me this? Does anybody even like this game? I've never known anybody to have this in their top 10 favorite games of all time list, much less their top 100. It kind of feels like a slap to the face. I don't even want to sully my GameCube with this game, but I'm gonna because I like you. No memory card found in slot A. That's fine, I don't want it to save anyway. Start up a new game, rookie difficulty because I just don't care. This is the second time I've had to tell it to continue without saving. There's a cutscene. There's a cut. There's a cutscene. Who is invested in the story of this game? All right, fuck it. Let's watch.
Well, that's just a bad way to swat a fly. How you doing, pal? I hope I wasn't disturbing you. This is a bad time. I'll come back later, but... This is yeah, I know. Never mind the no trespassing signs Ranger. right there. Come on Ranger. in. I love strangers. Folks around here just call me Old Hugh. It's a pleasure to meet you. I mean that. A real honor. Oh, yes. I know all about you. World famous hunter. Used to do some work for Wilderness Rescue. That group that travel around the world and defend folks from the world's most dangerous predators, right? Real heroes, all them folks, always willing to put their lives on the line, even in the face of certain danger. Tell you what, I've got some information I'm supposed to pass on to you, and nobody else. Urgent stuff, news about a good friend of yours, and some folks who are in a terrible danger. But it's always been a dream of mine to hunt with a fella of your caliber. Maybe we can go shoot a few rounds, and then I'll tell you everything you need to know. What do you say? How about you take me out and show me some of them skills of yours made you so famous around these parts? So this guy has news for me regarding my friend who is in terrible danger, but he's not going to tell me unless I pal around with him for a few minutes. All right, fine, whatever. Well, come on, youngster. Think you can show a thing or two to old Hugh, do you? Well, we'll just see about that. Wasn't this guy just talking about how much of a legend I was? Follow Hugh to the target range. Use the control stick to move around the C stick to look. All right, that's fine. This here's bear country. Watch your step, young fella. Some of these suckers will rip your head off just as soon as look. Maybe we should try some target practice. In case some critter attacks, I'm going to be sure you know what you're doing. First, why don't you step back and let a real hunter show you how it's done. Watch and learn, sonny. Watch and learn. Isn't this guy supposed to respect me? Why is he talking down to me? They used to call me Dead Eye Andrew. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Nobody's course, ever called you that. That might have been on account of my glass eye and not my sharpshoot. Here, why don't you give it a try? Hey, looky there. You found something. C-Stick gaming definitely feels way worse than any other GameCube first-person shooter I've played. Crumb, look at the claws on that kid. Say, pal, I'm running a little low on ammo. Would say you take... Oh, now you want me to save your life. Here of them. Uh... So the melee does nothing. I guess the guns don't feel terrible. Ah! Not to worry, not to worry. That was my wooden leg. I'll be fine. God damn it! You gotta watch out for traps. You gotta watch out for traps. You're the one who got caught. Back, Sonny. Third time I've had to tell it to not save. You done good, kid. That was some darn fine shooting. Guess now you're probably wanting that information I promised you, huh? I'm warning you, it ain't good news. It's about your old friend, your old hunting partner, Bill Lewis. What's that his wilderness rescue buddies nicknamed him? Oh yeah, Bullseye Bill. Well, Bullseye Bill's missing. Something went wrong on his last expedition and nobody's heard a word from him since. Uh, that's all I know. Overheard some fellas saying Wilderness Rescue is looking for you because if Bullseye is missing, chances are whoever he was rescuing still needs saving. Well, I should probably go find him then. So, I guess that's it, eh? 
Off to figure out what happened to your friend, aren't you? Probably be too much to ask to help somebody a little closer to home, ain't it? See, that's the reason I came looking for you. My niece and nephew went camping not far from here, and now they're missing too. I could really use your help, pal. Why didn't you just lead with that? Hey, your best friend is in terrible danger. But first, let's pal around. But first, I need help. Oh, pal, and keep a sharp eye. We've got some rough terrain to cover, so we need to pack light. Come on, young feller. If anyone can get these kin of mine home in one piece, it's you. You hear that? Wolves running all over around here. I told that fool niece and nephew of mine not to come camping around here, but did they listen to old Hugh? No. That's fine. They're probably dead. That's a sure giving me the creeps. This is one of those really annoying games that has a cutscene every 30 seconds. Yeah, it sucks to be you, buddy. So now I guess I gotta go down here, swim to the river, and avoid the rocks for some reason. I don't feel like I'm going fast enough for them to do any damage to me, but the game feels otherwise. Get out of the river, come this way. Nice to have any sort of indication that that was there. Now I guess we gotta go down here. Look at this falling speed, it's really slow. I'm not sure where else the game wants me to go, so. And the hunt has ended. You know what? I'm fine with that. Well, that was that. Like I said before, this is my last Retro Game Treasure video. I might subscribe to Video Games Monthly in the not too distant future just to check them out, but that depends on a number of things. In the meantime, let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you'd like to see me do. If you want to watch me play old games live, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thatradiogeek. I look forward to reading your responses. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.